la 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 Hello everybody, welcome back to Command Quickies number 3. First of all, I'd like to uh, apologize for the recent weird uploads, um, all those videos that have the weird names. Those were actually supposed to be unlisted videos that weren't supposed to be public, but for some reason, they decided to be public anyway. So don't expect videos like that anymore. I think I figured out why it was doing that, and it has been fixed. Anyway, the point of this video is going to be two things, and it's two little tricks that you can do with scoreboards that you might not have realized or known that you could do. So the first thing that I want to do is show you how to do per team scoreboards. So if I do scoreboard teams add, and I'm just going to do blue and red. Now we have to set a color for these teams, so scoreboard teams option and blue. Set the color to blue. Ooh. Set it to blue blue now if we do on the red team set the color to red now if i do scoreboard teams join blue and i talk in chat as you can see it's blue and if i join red and then talk in chat as you can see it's red so now if we scoreboard objectives add and let's do blue stats dummy and red stats dummy so these will just be uh, test scoreboards and if I do scoreboard players set at P blue stats and 10 and now let's set my red stats to 5 so if I do scoreboard objective set display and now if I do sidebar dot team dot red and now I can do red stats so now because I'm in the red team this will show for me because I'm in the red team but if I scoreboard teams leave as you can see it now disappears so if i scoreboard teams join blue and if we do the same command here but we do blue and we do blue stats as you can see it now shows the blue stats so if i join red again there we go so now if i'm on the red team and someone else joins and they are on the blue team it will display blue team stats for him because he is on the blue team now sadly this only works with a maximum of 16 scoreboards because those are the maximum number of colors that you can have because it only works on a per team basis per color not per team name which is a little unfortunate now the next thing that i want to do is let's scoreboard objective set display sidebar and clear it oh sidebar dot team dot red and dot blue blue to clear those so now i want to show you how to do dynamically updating scoreboards so what this means is uh, when a player leaves the server or game uh, it will remove their name from the sidebar this is most useful for vanilla servers that want to display stats we actually use this on the old bitbyte server before that was shut down um, it would show the display of the player's score when they left it would remove them from the scoreboard and then when they joined again it would put them back up with their correct score and back then it used four commands and now i found a way to do it with only two so if we do scoreboard objectives add and let's do objective objective one it doesn't really matter uh dummy and two i know i spelled those wrong all right, so now if I do scoreboard players set at P and we do objectus, objectus 2 and set it to 10. So basically what we have done is we have created two scoreboard objectives. The first one is going to be the quote unquote display objective. We won't actually edit the data on that one. The actual data holding one will be objective 2. This is where you will actually edit the scoreboard values for the player. So now you want to put down a repeating command block, go into it, set it to always active. And what you want to do is you want to scoreboard players reset asterisk and objectives one. So now what this will do is this will constantly reset every player and it will reset their objectives one score. Um, that means that instead of setting it to zero, it will completely remove them from the scoreboard. And the asterisk will actually target offline players as well. So now what we want to do is put down a chain command block and do execute 
execute at a tilde 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 and scoreboard players operation at a c equals one and i'll get into why i'm doing that in a little bit score players operation objectives two equal oh no objectives one equals at a c equals one and objectives two scoreboard objective set display sidebar there we go so now what we have just done is in here i have set this to execute at all players to set their objectives one score to be equal to their second score the reason why we use at ac equals one instead of at p is because the only selector that can target dead players is at a at p will not target dead players and we use c equals one to do sender bias so this will target you this is basically the same thing as at p but will target dead players if you use at p in this it will and you die it will target the closest living player which is not correct so a basic rundown of what this is doing is this is resetting the display objective which is this one so that it technically has no data on it for anyone then we're executing at all the online players to set their second objective score to be equal to their, fir uh, their first objective score to be equal to their second one. That will add their score back to this when they join again. So if you had a score called something like points, you would just have to make a points to score and directly edit the points to score uh, when you give them points and then set it, set their points one score equal to points two now it should be noted that on servers that are slower they have less ram or players with a worse internet connection this will appear flickery just because the commands will not update uh fast enough so i hope you guys enjoyed this hope you guys learned and i hope you guys find this useful uh have a good day and goodbye